Okay, so we're going to look at how to calculate molarity when you are given mass percent and density. All right, so calculating molarity from mass percent and density. Um, you might be given a question like this, okay? Calculate the molarity of a solution of, it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter anything, HNO3, your nitric acid, that is 35% by mass and has a density of 1.21 grams per mil. Okay, so you're given two pieces of information. You are given the mass percent and you are given the density. And then you're supposed to calculate molarity. If you don't know what to do, you might be like, what the F? Okay, it's not too difficult once you know what you're doing. Okay, so molarity, first of all, is moles of solute divided by liters of solution, okay? So from this information we're given, we're trying to figure out moles of solute, and we're trying to figure out liters of solution, okay? Um, and really there's two ways to go about uh, doing this problem. It uses the same process, but it just, depending on how your brain works, you might like one way over the other. So we'll do both, okay? So I know that this is what I'm trying to get to, and I have some information. So I have the 35% by mass. What that really means is I have 35 grams of my solute for every 100 grams of solution, okay? And it tells me density, so I know I have 1.21 grams per mil of this whole thing is just of the solution, okay? So I've got a bunch of information, and then it just depends on how you like to, to go about it. So here's kind of way number one, okay? Um, first things first, you're gonna need to calculate the molar mass of whatever solute is in your solution. So in this case, we have HNO3. You need to calculate the molar mass. So each hydrogen is 1.01, each nitrogen is 14.01, each oxygen is 16.00. Add it all up to get the molar mass. Hopefully we know how to do molar masses, right? Okay, but the molar mass of this guy is 63.02 grams per mole. Okay, all right. So now that we have that, we can basically just do one long uh, conversion, okay? One long line of, of work. So we'll start with our mass percent. So you're gonna start with 35 grams of HNO3 divided by 100 grams of solution. Okay, now, mind you, I'm trying to get here, All right? This is the goal, All right? So I'm trying to get not grams of HNO3, I want to get to moles of HNO3. So this is where my molar mass comes into place, okay? So I can just divide by 63.02 grams and turn that into one mole. And you can see grams of HNO3 and grams of HNO3 will cancel. Cool, so now I'm gonna be in moles, let's label, of nitric acid, and I'm dividing by grams of solution, which is bad. I don't want moles per gram, I want moles per liter. So now I've gotta convert away from grams. Well, how do I convert away from grams? I use my density. So times, and you just literally multiply by density, so 1.21 grams of your solution for every one milliliter of your solution and grams of solution, grams of solution will cancel, okay? So now on the numerator I have moles, and on my denominator I, now I have milliliters. So we're close, right? We want moles per liter, not moles per milliliter. So one last step is to say and convert your milliliter into liters. So a thousand mils is one liter. Milliliter and milliliter cancel. And now on your numerator you're gonna get moles of HNO3, and on your denominator, the units you'll have is liters, which is exactly what you want for molarity. So you just plug in your calculator, 35 times 1.21 times 1,000, divided by 100, divided by 63.02 equals, and you should get uh, 6.7 moles of HNO3 per liter. Hooray! So that would be your molarity, right? Usually we don't write it like that. You'd say 
molar HNO3, big capital M, stands for molar, right? It's my dog in the background, that's nice. Hey, that's not. Um, okay, so that is kind of way number one to do it. Uh, I personally like to think about it a, a different way, which you use the exact same process, really, uh, but here's how my brain functions, okay? So molarity is moles per liter. So I just kind of like to break it up separately to begin with. So I'm trying to solve for moles of solute. Okay, so I'd start with my 35 grams of HNO3 and do the literally exact same thing I did before. Divide by 63.02 grams for one mole Right, divide by your molar mass to calculate exactly how many moles of HNO3 you like or you have. Okay, <laughs> you like how many moles would you like? And you get a number of 0 0.555 moles. Okay, so now I have how many moles of nitric acid I, ha I have in this solution, and then I know I had 100 grams of solution. Right, this is just from my 35% by mass. And I don't want that in grams, I want that to get into liters. So we start with our density, but now I want to get out of grams. So put 1.21 grams on the denominator for every one mil. Right, this way grams and grams will cancel. Okay, same thing here, grams and grams canceled. That's why I got moles as my final unit. Okay, so now I have milliliters of solution. I don't want milliliters, I want liters, so a thousand mils is one liter. Milliliter and milliliter cancel, and then you do some math, and you find out this is 0 0.0826 liters of solution. Okay, now I have moles of my solute, liters of my solvent, just divide. Molarity is mole per liter. So that's going to be 0 0.555 moles divided by 0 0.0826 ooh, liters of solution. And if you do that, you'd still get the exact same number of 6.7 molar HNO3. Okay, so um, whichever way you like to solve it, right, if you like it in one nice long line where everything is all in a row and all your ducks are in a row, cool, good on you, okay? You can solve for molarity from mass percent and density. If you don't like to do that and your brain is weird, works like mine, and you like to separate and solve for moles and then separate and solve for liters and then divide and get the answer, cool, do it that way. But at least either way, you know how to do it. Good luck.